Pumpkins, they're not even ready for picking, yet people are already asking our Weather First team about winter. Is it going to be a bad one? Will we have a lot of snow? Well, a little bug might hold the answer. Weather First meteorologist Tracy Henson delves into the science, or lack thereof, for woolly worms. They certainly look fuzzy and warm. A lot of insects that survive the winters are very good at producing antifreeze-like compounds. Oh, wow, We've actually really? shown that the woolly worm can survive up to 90 degrees below zero. So that fluffy exterior doesn't translate to warm, but the folklore around the crawler sometimes does. But before we get to that, meet Tad, senior entomologist at the Butterfly House. Tarantulas here, these are all tarantulas. He is definitely an expert in all things insect. This is a new species. This is the largest species of black widow in the entire world. Who better to ask about the science of the woolly worm? I think the woolly bear reminds everyone of their childhood because everybody spends those late summer days and early fall days outside playing in the leaves and in the grass. That's where you see the woolly bear caterpillars. We didn't find any, but we didn't look too long. And it is in the same family. It if we did, fans of winter would hope for an all black one. The legend has it that the more black on the caterpillar, the worse the winter. The more brown, the milder the winter. Now, if there was a scientific reason for that, Tad would know. There's not too much science to this. Unfortunately, uh, the caterpillars tend to get more brown the older they get. And so if you take a caterpillar that has a little bit of brown and you wait a few weeks and it molts again as it gets bigger, it might have even more brown. And not once did you hear him call it a worm. They're actually the caterpillar of a native moth species. While this isn't an Isabella tiger moth, it's a beautiful blue morpho, but it's a good reminder that like all caterpillars, the woolly worm will eventually turn into a beautiful flying insect. Tracy Henson, five on your side. And we're just getting into the season for woolly bears, so you may see more of them in late September and October. And we were going